Hey guys, it's been a hot minute and I'm back to talk about the latest in machine learning and audio. And uh, when I say the latest, it's all going to be new to me because I've stepped away from this topic for almost a year, maybe a little bit more than a year, as I worked on other projects. But I'm getting back into it again, reacclimating myself, and, uh, and there have been some new fun developments. So let's check them out, shall we? Let's start out by looking at Google's solution for tone transfer, which was released, I believe, in October of 2020. Now first, let me say that my motivation for using ML for audio came from a desire to build something similar to, quote, deep dreaming images and videos, you know, that were popular a few years ago. But for audio, I was like, why can't I apply the same kind of concept to audio? Imagine what I can do, being kind of like a, a audio nerd, musician type guy. Of course, I wanted to play around with that. Uh, and ultimately, I'd hope to discover a method for tone transfer. Well, you know, big surprise, Google beat me to it with the help of the Magenta team, which is, I think, also mostly Google employees. But, but let's see how it works. Now, Google built this tool using the open source DDSP library created by Magenta. And if you look at the project contributors, the principal coder is Jesse Engel, who works for Google. Now, when I first saw his photo, I wondered if he was Valerio Villardo, which is another YouTube dude who makes videos about machine learning and audio. Uh, but once I remembered his name, it was obvious that they were different people. But nonetheless, this project is gold, and I'm planning to dig much deeper into this project, and you should too. But I'll return to the topic later. Next up, in response to my video, MFCC features to audio, will it work? Nikolay Shmeyrev, sorry guy, didn't quite know how to pronounce your name, commented, the Librosa approach is wrong, but there are other methods. If you use vocoders like WaveGlow Magellan, you can repair pretty clean audio from MELS. Well, I thought that was worth exploring. So um, a few months ago, I pulled it open and I downloaded the WaveGlow library. Um, but I had a little trouble with getting the environment to build on my local machine in my virtual environment. Um, and so I think I abandoned it that day Earlier today, I actually pulled the stuff in again and tried again um, to build it from requirements text, but using, and I was using Python 3.8.5, um, but it just didn't work. And so I, instead of going down that rabbit hole, I just moved on to other work. So today, again, after failing to get the requirements installed, I looked for a Docker and I found a quick start guide um, from NVIDIA, and I'll provide a link below the video. I did have to modify the bash scripts docker interactive.sh and change NVIDIA Docker to just Docker so I could use my own version. Uh, I didn't really read all the documentation why I might need to use NVIDIA's Docker, but anyway, nonetheless, um, I was able to get the Docker up and running, um, but still the scripts weren't working for me for some reason. So again, with the project, I just decided to move on. Finally, I returned to Magenta, and man, this is some exciting stuff. Under the demos directory, you will find a timbre transfer example that just works. I was able to get the library installed easily using pip and ended up opening up a notebook on Google servers, you know, the collaboratory tool. I uh, uploaded a folder of my own waves and did seem to get through the process about halfway, but it kept running into like a server timeout issue. Um, I believe I was presented with a warning that perhaps I needed to upgrade if I wanted longer session times. I don't know what the problem was, but that's as far as I got with it today. Um, I don't have a problem with training on my own server, so when I have a little more time, I think I'll just you know run through the demos locally. Well, that's it for my day back into the machine learning for audio uh, fold, and I didn't get really far enough to be able to show you any code examples just yet, but I just wanted to give you an idea of where you might want to direct your attention. That's where I'm going to direct my attention, and soon we'll all be back working on uh, whatever we discover next.